Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and you can see that I'm using my Loom account here to screen record because I have this wonderful resource to share with you. It's from Cambridge University, uh, Cambridge Maths in particular, and looking at their research papers and their resources which they release called Expressos. So if you're interested to find out about this wonderful resource, please hang around. CambridgeMaths.org release something they call Expressos every couple of months. And basically it's like a one page little newsletter, uh, normally based on research and a math topic. They call an Expresso because they suggest that the time for you to read it is the time to actually drink an Expresso. So let's just have a look at the website. I'm just gonna move myself out of the way. So let me just make myself a little bit smaller, move myself over here. So you'll find the web addresses here, cambridgemaths.org forward slash Expresso. And it's all uh, distilled research on mathematics education. And you can see the different topics that they have released every couple of months. So if you're interested in what the research says about teaching division and multiplication, rich data sets, fraction equivalents, etc. You can just click on them. So I'm going to click on, let's look at the early concepts of probability because I think that probability should be taught and addressed and uh, quite early on, early years, I would say. And I suggest that that concept of probability is actually really important and should be introduced at an earlier age. Uh, I think a lot of the different curricula that I've seen around the world suggest probabilities introduced, you know, in fifth or sixth grade, but I would like to start introducing it in either second grade or third grade. So let's have a look at what the Express actually says. So you click on here and then it gives you a quick summary, but you can actually view the Expresso as a PDF. So I'm going to just jump to that tab. So if I just open up that window, this is what the actual Expresso looks like. It's in a PDF. I love how there's a talking point. What does research suggest about teaching and learning early concepts of probability? And then um, a big a summary here of the different types of bias. And then I love this summary because it's supposed to be quick and easy. You're only supposed to be able to read everything um, while drinking an espresso, right? So in summary, it's important for students to learn both theoretical and empirical aspects of probability, uh, reasoning about short-term and long-term behavior. Probabilistic reasoning depends on proportional reasoning and especially the flexible use of fractions and estimation. Uh, another research finding, development of the important concept known as the law of large numbers is important. For example, students making and analyzing short, medium, and long-term predictions about probability situations, helping students to get a sense of randomness in a variety of different task types, including categorizing, creating random sequences um, is recommended by the research. Tasks which focus on the concept of equalizing or equivalence are also recommended as useful, as is the use of carefully designed technology tools like Mathagon, one of my big favorites for probability. And another research suggestion is it is useful for teachers to be aware of common biases, ambiguities in language and misconceptions around probability. And so you can see that's why they've highlighted here the common forms of bias when th people think about probability. So that's the first page. And then the second page, there'll be um, more detailed findings with implications for the classroom, uh, going into a little bit more detail about that summary. And then what's lovely also is the references at the side here. So if you did wanna look at any further research papers, and, and, and investigate some of the findings in detail here, you can. So I think these are absolutely wonderful resources for teaching different concepts in mathematics and finding out what the research says. A big shout out uh, to the Cambridge Mathematics team. I've had the pleasure and honor of, of meeting uh, several of the team in person. Uh, so if you found this useful, please give this a thumbs up and feel free to put a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for joining me again this week and I hope to see you next time.